Welcome everyone to a new video! After a few weeks of Minecraft skills modules, today I've got something different for you. More enchantments for Minecraft 1.9 and 1.10. This isn't only a remake of the old more enchantments module I created a while ago. Instead of 7, this one adds a total of 14 different enchantments. So let's start off by showing you how you can obtain those new enchantments. Since it's impossible to change the way an enchanting table works, you can't get them simply by enchanting tools or books. What you need to do instead is putting 1 to 3 lapis in your offhand, depending on the level you want to enchant on, and drop a book on an enchanting table. To do this, depending on the amount of lapis, you'll also need to be at least level 10, 20 or 30. So if I drop this book now, you can see that I lose the lapis and the same amount of levels. But in return I get an enchantment book. These enchantment books contain the new enchantments and their quality depends not only on your luck but also on the amount of levels you're enchanted with. So let me quickly get a few more of the enchantment books before I move on showing you how you can use them. So now that I can't get any more books since my level is too low, let me show you how you can transfer these enchantments to your items. Again, you can't simply do it like in vanilla since I can't change the way anvils behave. What you need to do instead is fairly easy. Simply drop one of the enchantment books close to the tool or armor you want to enchant. You'll hear an anvil sound and the book disappears. If you pick up the item now, you can also see that it has been enchanted, in this case with poison too. One thing I should mention however is that because of the way item laws work, whenever you enchant an item with multiple custom enchantments, only the one at last will be displayed. This applies to multiple enchantment books as well as enchantment books with multiple enchantments. But before you ask, you can combine these enchantments and it will work. They simply don't get displayed right. So now let me show you what you've been waiting for anyways. What all the enchantments do. As long as you wear a helmet with a goggles enchantment on it, you'll be constantly given night vision. I know this isn't the most impressive enchantment, but it can be quite useful, especially for caving or combined with aqua affinity for underwater vision. Secondly, we've got the auto smelt enchantment. This one should be used for axes, pickaxes or shovels and does exactly what you'd expect it to do. Blocks mined with an auto smelt tool will drop the item in an already smelted state. Therefore stone drops stone, iron and gold ore drop their ingots, sand will get smelted to glass, instead of logs you'll get charcoal, nether wax will instantly be transformed to a leather brick, sponge gets dried and clay will drop bricks instead of clay balls. Except you've got sick touch on your pick. In that case you get hardened clay. But there's one more thing that makes this enchantment my personal favorite. Combined with fortune, iron and gold ore have a chance of dropping multiple ingots. Killing a mob using a weapon with a beheading enchantment will give you a 5% chance to get the head of that mob. The coolest feature about this enchantment is that you cannot only get the default vanilla heads, like creeper, zombie or skeleton. I've added over 20 more heads, which this enchantment enables you to get. The next enchantment is poison and can be used for melee weapons. Basically a sword with a poison enchantment will poison every mob or player who gets attacked with it. Other than the enchantments I showed you so far, this one comes in 3 levels. On level 1 a total of 2 hearts of poison damage will be dealt in about 4 seconds. On level 2 that's 4 hearts at the same time. On level 3 the dealt damage only increases to 5 hearts, but as you can see here, instead of poison the victim will be affected with wither, meaning that it can actually die from the effect. So let's continue with the next enchantment, leaping. Again this enchantment goes up to level 3. Every pair of boots with leaping will allow the wearer to constantly jump higher. What's really cool about this is that it actually works with a newly added auto jump feature, a enchantment every explorer should have. And here we've got a first of the 7 enchantments I newly added, the anti-gravity enchantment for bows. This uses 1.10's amazing feature to disable the entity's gravity, so this one does what you'd expect. It lets your arrows fly perfectly straight, since they aren't affected by gravity. This allows you to do some quite impressive bow shots. And of course, this doesn't only work for normal arrows.
Moving on with the Lava Walker enchantment. Again, a quite simply but effective one. Who didn't ask himself why we can't use Frost Walker to get across lava? Well, I know the answer. It's because you need to use Lava Walker. And now we've got one of my personal favorites. Diffusion. Using a weapon enchanted with Diffusion will make creepers you strike with it take twice as long to explode. Therefore you can easily kill them before they blow up. Or you could at least always get back a few steps. Overall a great enchantment, no good sword should miss. Let's continue with an enchantment specially for chest plates. Anti-Venom. This enchantment grants you immunity to debuffs. More specifically, while Anti-Venom 1 only protects you from Wither and Poison, the second level of this enchantment also makes you lose weakness, slowness and glowing effects. Another really cool enchantment for boots is called Cloud Walker. This will make you glide down slowly instead of falling, as well as preventing you from taking any fall damage. It actually is a miracle to me why combining it with leaping works, but since it does without any problems, feel free to combine these. Now before I continue showing you the last four enchantments, I need to present you another feature of this creation. I updated all the default chest loot to support the custom enchantments. That means that instead of crafting them yourself, you could also find them in the different chests all around the world. The four enchantments I haven't showed you so far actually can only be obtained by finding items enchanted with them in chests. The last four enchantments changed the basic attributes of your items. Frenzy allows you to use a weapon faster by reducing the attack cooldown by 25% on level 1, 40% on level 2 and 55% on level 3. Sprinting makes you simply move faster by 20% per level. So with the maximum of sprinting 3 on boots and leggings, you can move lightning fast. Steadfast, which you'll be finding on chest plagues, makes you knockback resistant. On level 1 you won't get knocked back with 33% chance. As you might have guessed already, on level 2 this chance is 67% and on level 3 you won't get any knockback at all. And finally we've got the toughness enchantment for every armor piece. This simply increases the armor toughness attribute by 1 per level, making your survive strong hits even better. So there we go guys, that's everything this creation has to offer. If you want to add this to your world, you need to do two things. First of all, you need to head down to the video description where you can find a link to the command you need to install this creation. Simply copy and paste it into a command block and activate it. After clicking the sign that appeared, the command block machine is installed. The second step is the installation of the loot table. To do so, click on your world in the world selection screen. Then click on edit and open folder. Now you should have entered your world folder. Then place the loot table folder you'll be able to download in the video description in the data folder and you're good to go. If you already installed other loot table creations, that's absolutely no problem. Simply drag the folder in the data folder and click skip doubled files. So that's about it. As always, feel free to leave your questions and suggestions how to improve this creation in the comments or follow me on Twitter at TheBullyBoy. And if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye bye.